Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the shop. Today's video is, uh, well, you know what, I'm going to draw it on the board behind me and give you a little bit of shock factor early on. And this is out of a page right out of my Had to Do It One Time book. Here's the part. Boss comes over and says, got some pieces I need you to bore out. You're running the lathe today, so put some numbers on this. Inside diameter, 625. Outside diameter, 1.125. Thickness, oh, let's just say 0.001. To 0.015 thousandth of an inch. Okay, that's not exactly drawn to scale, but you can imagine that the part didn't look like that when the boss dropped sit on your bench. Okay, a lot of you are saying, all right, let's do this crazy glue it, cyanoacrylate, acetone, let's go that route. No, there's 500 of them, so you can't do that. So you got to come up with a more creative way, and you got to get the job done in about three hours. So let's take a handful of these parts out to the lathe. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay guys, these are the parts that we have to bore out. It's a 625 ID, about an inch and an eighth OD. And there is a bunch of parts here. It's real thin material. I don't know if you can see how thin that really is. But just for yucks, in with the mix here, there are some tin foil parts in here that are just over a thousandth of an inch thick. And what we're going to do is we're going to pressure turn them on an arbor. We're going to sit them down inside this cup. We're going to put this arbor together, put a lot of pressure on there, bore right through the center. Now you guys are probably saying, well, it's just threaded, right? You're just going to screw it on like that. Magic threads. Actually, I'm doing it with my finger underneath so it looks like it's threaded. If you were to thread this and have your parts inside here, the rotational forces here could fold your parts over on themselves and it could technically ruin your part. So a nice linear pressure is the way to go. At least it's the way I went and it worked in the past. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put a piece of clutching material in this cap. And clutching material is the same used for the pressure turning operation when I made these or from the pressure turning video that I posted. You want something that's going to apply a little bit of friction between all the parts. Now let's put the parts in. Take them on my finger. Perfect. Okay. Clutching material in the front. About 300 thou worth of parts. More clutching material in the back. And of course it's going to go right directly into the hole, right? Perfect. Let's get it out. There we go. Let's try it again. All right, clutching material on the front and back. I'm going to put a slug in there just to back it up. And now the arbor itself. So what we need to do is we need to crush this together and get this together somehow. And I'm going to do that on the mill. I'm going to squeeze it in the vise this way. And I'm going to pin it right through the cap. So no threads necessary. Let's set it up in the vise, move the camera, pin it, see what we get. Okay guys, with the arbors properly loaded and positioned in the vise this way, squeeze it with a great deal of pressure. I mean really torque down on this thing. Let it sit for about 30 seconds, minute, whatever. Go get a cup of coffee, glass of water. Come back, squeeze it again without opening the vise. So that way the clutching material, if it settles, you don't want it to settle in a, in a complacent. You want it to settle really torqued. So squeeze it, walk away, come back. Squeeze it again. Let's drill a cross hole in this thing. Pin it.
make sure you keep your reamer size very close to the size of the pin. You do not want slot between this, it'll allow the cap to back off and it'll ruin your parts. Do not open that vise yet. Now the reason it appeared that it went through rather easily is there's a pilot hole in the large piece and it's technically hollow. Install your pin. Now you can open the vise. And if all went well, those parts are snug. There we go. Let's put it back in the lathe. The hole in the cap is the end diameter hole that I want in the shims. So when the boring bar gets close to or starts to touch that, I know I'm right where I need to be. So let's load it up in the three jaw, bore it out, punch the pin out show you what we got. Here the entire arbor assembly is back in a three jaw chuck. Now prior to drilling it I indicated the part of the arbor that's inside the cap. So if you see a little bit of run out it's very possibly the clearance on the cap and it won't be a whole lot. So let's punch this boring bar through there, knock the center out of those shims, get it going. I am hand feeding this, taking very small bites. Gonna use coolant for the very last pass, about five thousand deep.
Okay, that is all she wrote. And judging by what I see down inside the bore, I think we got lucky. It looks pretty good down in there. In order to remove the pin, you're going to have to take it back over to the mill, apply the end pressure. It'll help to alleviate some of the pressure that's on the pin, and you can drive it out there. I would have to say I'm fairly happy with what I'm seeing. The crack that you can see is probably the clutching material. There should be one on the back as well, which there is. So let's squeeze this in the vise, knock the pin out, and take a look at how big that hole is now. Back to the bench. Alright, now it's time for the big reveal. The cap may offer up a little resistance when you go to take it off because of the displacement of the cap material through the arbor when you cross drilled it. But in fact it's not, so that's nice. Got some good motion. Clutching material. Finger stuck. <laughs> Alright, let's stick this one in here. Draw them out this way. Alright, there you go. There's the clutching material. Clutching material on the back. Shims are successfully bored. This is the 620. Six. 621 diameter pin that was in there just to prove that we did punch the center out and just as the final demonstration of this technique see if I can find the tin foil parts and just completely ruin those for you show you how thin this work can really get Okay, here's one. There they are. What's that? If you don't think that's a good technique, think again. That's a great technique. Okay, guys. Anyway, there you go. From the pressure, you will have to feel these things and pull them all apart. But you can see that there's a bunch of them successfully bored out. And this little guy, well, that used to be a shim a couple seconds ago. Hope you like what you saw. Hope you can use it. Leave me a comment. See you inside. Well, that cap arbor idea works very well. Naturally, you get a mindset that you can't bore on an arbor. Arbors are usually for internal work. But when it's a cup like that, you just bore through the cap, through the part into the arbor. All is good. Uh, the cap itself is basically a throwaway. Off camera, it took me about 30 minutes to put those uh, caps and stuff together. Uh, you saw me drill a hole, stick the pin in, and the boring operation was real time. So I hope you like what you saw. I hope it plants some ideas in your head. Let me know how you do it. Put that in the comment stream below. And I thank you for watching. Joe Pye, Advanced Innovations, Austin, Texas. I'm out.